Hi, it's Al from Hey OK Performance. I had a couple of things to show you today. This is a rear light bar meant to fit in a wraith. It mounts with just one screw. Uh, in the rear of the cage, there's a, an opening that you can use. And then you'd probably want to put a dab of shugu or something on either end to you know, secure it there. There's the controller. So it plugs in between your speed control and your receiver. So it's monitoring the throttle signal. What it's going to do is power up and you'll see a blue light sweep across a couple of times and then what you'll get is the brake lights come on and then if you were to go forward the brake lights would dim and if you go reverse the thing's going to light up white. This is all happening while there are strobes going on so right now it'll show just amber strobes, but if you were to cut the, the orange loop of wire, you'd get alternating uh, blue and, and orange or amber strobes happening. Now you see there's a white loop there. That's what you cut if the reverse lights come on when you're going forward. Just a way of reversing it. Here it is plugged into a servo tester. The servo position set for the middle, which would indicate where your speed control would be set when you first power up as if your finger was off the throttle and brakes were on you weren't going forward or back so it needs that when it powers up so it can calibrate itself so I'll power it up you'll see the blue light sweep and then you've got the brake lights on oh and I, I apologize so it's doing the, the blue and the amber right now if you were to cut the orange it would uh, just be amber only so if we were to go forward, I think this direction is forward, brake lights go dim, so it's simulating tail lights, brakes again, now we're going to go reverse, blow out the camera pretty good, so you've got the bright white light, back to brakes, going forward again, and so on. So that's the rear light bar, in a moment I'll show you the front light bar I've made. This is the front light bar and the controller I've made for it. Again, it's using RGB lights, so it's curved. It's got a little cutout area to fit nicely into the uh, roll cage. And then it mounts with these openings here on either end. And what you do is you unscrew the screw mounts at either end of the front roll bar, and the roll bar slides inside these holes. Screw it back together, and it fits in there quite nice. You might want to add some shoe goo to the ends to make sure it you know, doesn't tilt or anything, but it's in there pretty nice. And here we've got the controller. This one's a little unique. It works on a three position channel. So you get off, you get preset, set by this pot, and you get white. So what this preset control does, rotary control, if you're in the center of a three position channel, it will let you choose the color by turning this pot. So you can go from red through green, blue, yellow, purple, and so on. And you turn it all the way clockwise, it'll be white, but that doesn't matter because position three is white on, on your three position channel. Now, just before you got to the white position, if you put it there, it will start the color cycling. So it'll just constantly change the color. I'll hook this up for you to look at. So once again, we're plugged into my servo tester. I'm gonna simulate a three position radio by just moving the pot, so left and and center and right, get you the three positions. And I have to apologize, my camera's gonna have a hard time coping with this. You're gonna see it flutter and brightness levels and such, but you'll get the idea. So right now it's off, obviously. And if I turn it to the first position, it lights up. And I turn it to the third position, it's white. So that's all cool. But let's go back to the second position. And now you can just put a little screwdriver in this control. And if you rotate it, you can change what color you get. Like I said, all the way clockwise is uh, white. If you pull it back just a little, you get the, the disco mode here, so it's going to rotate through its colors. So I guess what you could do is, you know, set this where you like and, you know, have the ability to have different color front lights. Maybe you want a uh, fog light, so you'd go for a, a yellow color. Well, thanks for watching.